Hello everybody, today we're doing a video and showing you our new product which is the modern round handle that we have. So here in the box it comes like this with both sides. You have uh, your latch and all the required hardware including the bolts and screws in order to install this handle. And today we're going to be installing our privacy handle. We also have them in uh, passage and out of the passage you can also make a dummy. So to install this handle you're going to need an X-Acto knife and a Phillips screwdriver. So usually these handles, the, your old handles are installed with Phillips screwdriver, hence we have the Phillips screwdriver. Usually there's two bolts over here or two screws and also on one of the sides of the handle. So once you remove these uh, bolts and screws, now you can disassemble this handle. Just simply comes apart like this and then we're going to use our a screwdriver in order to push out the uh, the latch. So the first thing that we're going to take from the new handles from the set, we're going to take the latch and over here before putting it in you can adjust uh, this piece right here so because the door is closing that way uh, this latch has to face this way so you just flip it and if the door goes the other way you gotta flip it the other way. So also another important thing when installing these handles, because this is a privacy, uh, there is this little thing here on the actual latch. There's one side with the hole and the other one without the hole. So you just gotta make sure that the side with the hole lines up with the side of the handle where it has this piece in order to lock the privacy. So we're just gonna put this in like that. And there's also a strike plate that covers uh, this piece around so it makes it pretty and it looks like this. So again we're installing our privacy set so you gotta make sure that this uh, piece that you use to lock the privacy handle that it's on the inside of the any room that you're installing to. So if you're installing on the washroom door, it has to be on the inside of the washroom. So we're just going to take it and line it up with our latch. So over here we're going to show you what uh, hardware comes with it. So like the old handle that we took out, I mentioned these uh, longer bolts. They have the fine thread. These are the ones that go in, uh, in between the actual handles. And they're that long because depending on the width of your door, you have some room for adjustment. So you basically just lightly thread them on. And then you have these, uh, these screws that you have to put in on where the latch is. So now we're going to take this piece which I showed earlier, which covers uh, our latch. And we're going to use these screws in order to secure it. So we're also going to lightly thread them. And I also forgot to mention that these handles are reversible, there's no left or right. So now we're going to use our St. Philip screwdriver and we're going to put in all these uh, two bolts and uh, two screws. You can only use uh, hand tools like this. So if you have uh, like a drill with a Phillips screwdriver, never use it because you're going to ruin the handles. So we secured everything, the bolts, the screws and everything is secure. Now we're going to demonstrate how everything works, so you got to make sure it works properly. So the handle is uh, unlocked right now. As you can see, you can move it from both sides. And right here we have the lock. So once we lock it, that's it. You can't open it from the outside, only from the inside. So to unlock it, you can either bring the handle down, that unlocks it, or you can bring the handle up that also unlocks it. And if you want to unlock the handle from, if somebody would say your kids get locked in inside or playing around, you can lock, unlock the handle from the outside by using just a simple paper, paper clip. And there's a hole right here, which you just push on inside. You just gotta make sure it goes in straight and then it unlocks it. So also in our, uh, with our set of handles, you get the brand new strike plate. As you can see, the old one is uh, scratched up. Sometimes they get painted over. 
So to replace it, you also, it's usually held on by two screws. So you just remove them. And depending on how the old strike plate is, you install the new one. So here's the new one. And this one is gonna be a good fit. But uh, if you remember earlier, I mentioned the X-Acto knife. So for example, if yours is not gonna fit and you have to make uh, little adjustments, you can just use X-Acto knife and kind of uh, cut the a necessary uh, kind of plywood wood in order for the new strike plate to fit and once it lines up you just use the new screws that comes with the with the kit and you're gonna install your new strike plate so we completed the installation of our modern round handles on this door and as you can see it's uh, an improvement from the old ones if you like modern style so the old ones were kind of more classic and these are way more modern so it improves the look of your home and I uh, hope you liked our video and you can check all our products on our website and we'll see you next time.